All right, Mona. Okay, so I goofed. Yesterday for Black History Month, I did a piece on explorers and trailblazers, and they were all men. Well, to correct that mistake, I'm going the other way now. Black women who cut new paths, and not just in entertainment, but in business, government, sports, and aviation. Women like Stagecoach Mary. Ever heard of Stagecoach Mary? Well, that was the nickname of Mary Fields, the first woman postal carrier in the U.S. Fields was born enslaved in Hickman, Tennessee, but after emancipation, went to work for a convent whose mother superior took over a school for indigenous girls in Montana. Fields was a bit rough around the edges and got booted from the school. After her saloon failed, at age 65, Fields got a star route contract from U.S. Postal Service. She used a stagecoach to make deliveries in often hostile territory. Mary set a record for on-time delivery that earned her the nickname Stagecoach Mary. Bessie Coleman took a different route to fame. She was the first African-American woman to earn a pilot's license, and it's all because her brother told Coleman she'd never fly. That's it, she said. You just called it for me. Since no American pilot would train her, Coleman went to France, where she not only learned the basics, but also aerobatics. She got her license in 1921. A year later was barnstorming the U.S., thrilling crowds with loops, dives, and spins. Coleman saw flying as a way to empower African Americans and wanted to open a school. She never did. Bessie Coleman died in an air accident in 1926. Condoleezza Rice will forever be known as a great secretary of state, that is, the first African-American woman to serve as the nation's chief diplomat, yet another in a long line of firsts in Rice's distinguished career. In 1993, she became the first woman to serve as provost of Stanford University. Rice was the child of two educators who had high hopes for her. I think my father thought I might be President of the United States, she once said. I think he would have been satisfied with Secretary of State. Ibtihaj Muhammad rocked the sports world when she and her Olympics fencing team won a bronze medal at the Rio Games in 2016, the first Muslim American athlete to do so. Oh, and she did it while wearing her hijab. Muhammad was somewhat late to her sport, starting at age 17 and not competing internationally until she was 23. But that didn't stop her. Mohammed competed on teams that won four world championships. But she has seen her greatest impact as cultural, saying she hoped her presence on Team USA changed perceptions about the Muslim community. Sheila Johnson has also made her mark in the sports world, not in competition, but as a savvy businesswoman. Johnson first came to prominence as the co-founder of black entertainment television, BET. Later, she bought the Washington Mystics WNBA team in 2005 and invested in the Washington Wizards NBA franchise and the NHL Washington Capitals hockey team, making her the first woman to be a stakeholder in three professional sports franchises. Johnson, by the way, also bought a golf resort and its four courses outside Tampa. Finally, Sheila Johnson bought a hotel and spa management firm.